Hi, welcome to Bookie. Today we'll unlock the book Designing Your Life, How to Build a Well-Lived Joyful Life. Have you ever felt like this at work? You find your job extremely boring, every day you are dispirited at work and feel refreshed the moment you can go home. You have so much to complain about work, but have no idea what other jobs you want to do. So you just keep dragging yourself to work day after day. You are not alone. There are a lot of people who don't like their jobs. The authors of this book point out that in the United States, two-thirds of workers are unhappy with their jobs, and 15% even hate them. Why is that? It's because we didn't make a proper career plan. The life design class at Stanford University can help us do just that and find a job that suits us. As one of the most popular courses at Stanford, the class aims to help students plan their careers through design thinking. What is design thinking? To answer that question, we first need to understand its opposite, engineering thinking. Engineering thinking presumes that there is an optimal solution to every problem. If you want to solve a problem, you must find that solution. Design thinking on the contrary does not assume there is an optimal solution nor does it hypothesize that there are any precedents to learn from. Using design thinking for career planning means not to assume there is a perfect job in the world that best suits us, but instead to find, discover, and even create the options that work for us. Design thinking can also help develop new products with relatively low costs through trial and error. When applying design thinking to career planning, we need to understand our own needs and the possible career directions, keep trying different things and eventually find the right job for ourselves. The authors of this book Bill Burnett and Dave Evans have worked on product design and development at Apple. They are often invited to teach design concepts to creative professionals in the Silicon Valley and are very successful in their field of work. At the same time, Burnett and Evans teach at Stanford University and the University of California Berkeley respectively. Their teaching careers have made them realize how lucky it is for someone to find the right major and career path early on. However, even at Stanford, few students can achieve this. Therefore, they decided to apply design thinking to career planning in order to help the students design their lives after graduation. That's how the life design class came into being. The class was well received by the students and even named the most popular course at Stanford by Fast Company. This book is a summary of the course's content. If you are confused about career development, we're sure this book would be of great help. Next, we'll break this book into three parts and introduce a three-step guide on how to use design thinking to plan our career. Step 1 know yourself. Step 2. Design your career. Step 3. Master three helpful mindsets. Now let's talk about the first part. The first step of life design is to know yourself. In the Greek temple of Apollo in Delphi, there is a famous motto engraved into the wall, know yourself. While everyone should know themselves well, many of us don't. The most common example is that many people don't know what kind of job they like, and that's why they often make misguided decisions when choosing a career. To determine the scope and direction of our career planning, we first need to truly understand ourselves. But how? We can do this in three steps. First, assess the status quo and find the problem. Secondly, reflect on our work view and life view. And finally, Find out what we enjoy doing for work. Let's start with the first step, assessing the status quo and finding the problem. When doing this, we need to recognize what the fundamental problems are and to avoid wasting time on the superficial ones. The author of this book Evans once wasted a large amount of time barking up the wrong tree. Evans dreamed about becoming a marine biologist as a child and therefore chose to major in biology at university. But he soon realized he wasn't that into biology. At first, he thought it was because of the poor grades. He decided that if he could improve the grades, he'd naturally fall in love with biology.